Hello and welcome to the next video of Fair Repair. Today we have a nice Lenovo. Ooh. Yeah, Lenovo can really make headaches, but we will see. Um, this is a huge and massive 70 inches Lenovo and if I wouldn't knew better I would swear it has a, a giant GPU inside. So heavy is it. However, it is big and huge and heavy and comes with a 45 watt charger, 2.25 amps. I've tested it already. It is good. At least not the weird, uh, come on, no, 20 volts, yeah? Okay, at least not the weird rectang rectangle one with the uh, adapter detection pin. So this is my benchtop PSU. Uh, no. Oh, it's off, mm. okay. Now it's on. Yeah, 20 volts. And um, the device does the following. Let me open the lid. Yeah. So let's plug the PSU. So. Yeah, slide current draw. Goes up to one amp. This is a battery charging current, I guess. And now I can power it on. I cannot. Now, now I can power it on. It goes up to 1.7 amps, suddenly drops to 1.4 amps, and finally drops back to 1.1. And it does it in an endless loop. So it tries to turn on, then gets stuck somewhere and repeats the whole procedure. The guy who brings this device to me is in, uh, has the opinion it is a BIOS fault. But uh, actually, from how it appears, I'm not so sure about that. Either way, we'll open it now and take a look. But first, we have to power it off. Now. Okay. What do you think? BIOS issue or something else? I am not in the mood to make a bet. I will stay safe and say 50-50. Normally, if it is a BIOS issue, then it would A not turn on at all or B stay on with no picture but this this is a weird behavior for a bias issue so mm, I'm not convinced so how can we open it how can we open it Maybe with my tools. Not so easy. Maybe like that. Yeah. 
still not open enough. I still can't believe how heavy it is. Oh, okay. We have to remove <laughs> the optical disk drive first. Yeah. Okay, and now. Should be able to open it carefully. Ah, this is a small board, no? So why is it so heavy? There isn't even a hard disk inside, I can't believe. And also no SSD, so there is no OS at all, no operating system at all. Let's unplug the battery. Good. Let's reset the memory and try again. CMOS battery, I can't notice. Let's press the power button instead for a while. Okay, should be enough. Charger. So 20 milliampere, when I open it, nothing happens, when I press a button, it goes to 300, here we have a blink code, and goes off, 500, 300, and goes off. So no change of the behavior. Let's try another memory module. This could work. So once again. Pressing the power button. Still blinking. 400. Oh, I think it stays on. It stays on. Now it drops to 270 and goes off. Oh, okay. Oh, it makes a reboot. One second. So let's try again. 20 milliamps power. Oh, now it seems to stay on. 400, between 400 and 500 milliamps, drops to 260, now is off, and goes on again. So are we simply dealing with a faulty memory module here? Nothing else.
Okay. The overlay cut out, but uh, the board is still working. 60 milliamps. The next reboot. But I think we are we are out of luck here. Still. It's still in the boot loop. Yeah. Yeah. So what else? What else? Let us do some checks, okay? So let's zoom in a bit. Like that, yeah? Okay. So, minus. We have a few coils here. Let us check a few coils. Mega ohms. Next coil. 61 ohms. This is for the memory. This is probably the memory supplier. Let's plug the memory. And it drops. Seen? Out. Goes up to 300. In 127. This is the 1.2 volts for the memory. This I don't know. I can only guess it is for the PCH. PCH supply. And this here I have no idea. 3.3? Where is the 5 volts then? And for what are you here, guys? Kilo ohms? Mega ohms. So now to the core, to the CPU. Here we have probably the system agent. 20 ohms, which is okay. And here's a core. 4.4. And VCC GT. 7.1. Everything looks okay. So it could be indeed a BIOS issue. Let's check some voltages when it is powered. So let us plug the charger. So what, what can I do about my benchtop PCU? It's not working today for some reason. So power button is here. So let's check. Let's check in what it runs. Ah, I have no, I have no memory installed. Let's plug the memory, memory module back. Let's see. Here we have 3.3. Interesting. Here we have 5.1. So here we have the 3.3 and the 5 volt supply. All right. Good. 
So then, here we have 8 volts, which is probably the charging rail. Okay, and here we have the 1.05 for the PCH, as already assumed. So these are all present and stable. So then the memory supply. 1.2. A bit high, to be honest, but should be still okay. VCC system agent comes up 1.07. and 0.8 for the CPU. Point 0.7 and 0. Okay, this is interesting. Here we get no voltage at all. So yeah, all voltages are coming up. Stay for a while. CPU changes the voltage and then it is stuck in a boot loop. So yes, can be BIOS issue. And uh, for this reason we rule this out now. Nothing obvious to notice. Power rails seem healthy. Here's a BIOS chip. I need to source uh, known good BIOS and uh, then we'll see. Okay, let's make a known good dump first and we move under the microscope, yeah? 20 Winbond 25Q128 JVSQ. So this is good. Let's remove the IC. Whoops, good, this was fast. So this is my CH341A, where we put the BIOS chip now. Good, let's open the software. So let's detect, here it is. Let's read it out.
and done. Cool. I already took a second dump and compared, so I have a known go to dump. And now I will take a look in our great Discord community to see whether there is anyone who can repair my BIOS. So I have a repair dump. The, my friends AR Fixit and GL did the hard work and repaired it for me. I have downloaded it already and uh, thank you again. This is a perfect example how great this Discord community is. Everyone is helping each other and um, it is wonderful. So I can concentrate on the hardware issues while others are more into the firmware things. So let's solder it. Yeah, this is good. This is good. So I would say, let's test it. But maybe. Yeah, this should be good enough. Okay. Charger. Which is annoying me again. So 20 volts, 5 amps is enough. So 20 milliamps, power on. So 400 milliamps. 500 milliamps So come on, please do it for me And Fan is spinning Reboot. I don't know, does not, does not look promising, no? No, it's working! <laughs> Checking media. Here. It's working. Cool. And if my friends did the job right, uh, I also have the serial number and Windows license and everything else. Yeah. 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 Yeah, everything is inside. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. So the D DMI data is also present, so which is Absolutely, this is a fully restored BIOS. I'm really happy about that. Good job, guys. Thank you for that. Good. As always, if you like my videos, I'm happy if you leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe to my channel. The tools I use are linked in the video description, same as the Discord communities where I am present. Thank you for watching, and let's see what we get next. Bye.